this is the equipment video for the cooling blanket, the Blanket Troll 2. Um, first, what you need to do is obtain all the necessary equipment. Um, if a core temp probe is not already in place, you will need to get that. And also the core temp um, cable for the hookup to the monitor. And the cooling blanket itself. The cooling blanket is only located um, in the Pod 2 Omni cell. The core temp probe is located in all the Omni cells. And then the core temp um, probe cable is located in the med stations in Pods 1, 2, and 3. You will also need the actual machine, the blanket control. Um, we have one dedicated machine for the PICU. It has a blue face and it says, I belong to PICU underneath it. That machine should never leave the unit. Um, we clean it, we wipe it down, and we return it to um, one of the OmniCell storage areas. So, once you've obtained all of the necessary equipment, before you can um, hook up your patient to the cooling blanket, you need to make sure that there is an order from the physician that states to use a cooling blanket and to have a targeted temperature. Um, then, then before you um, go to the cooling blanket, the blanket trawl, you want to go ahead and insert the um, core temp probe um, and hook it up to the monitor if one is not already in place. Yeah. Once all of that is complete, what you're going to do is check the water level of the cooling blanket machine. Um, you want to make sure that the water is visible and covering all of um, the little holes. Um, if the water level is not visible, what you're going to do is obtain sterile water from one of the Pixis, um, one of the Pixises, and then you're going to um, put some of the sterile water in here, but making sure not to overfill, really just to get it enough just to cover the holes. Once you've checked your water level and make sure that that's okay, um, you're going to go ahead and put the actual cooling blanket underneath the patient. So you're going to take the cooling blanket. And depending on where you want your machine to be, either at the foot of the bed or the head of the bed, will determine how you will place the blanket underneath the patient. Um, I typically will put it at the head of the bed, so I'm going to do it in this fashion. When placing the cooling blanket under the patient, what you want to do is make sure that you're getting it under the core um, part of the body, trying not to cover the head or um, the legs. This is obviously an infant mannequin, so that's going to be kind of hard. Okay. Next, once it's underneath the patient, what you're going to do is go ahead and hook it up to the machine. And what I would do is go ahead and plug the machine in. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And then you're going to hook up the hose from the blanket troll to the hose on the blanket. Once it's hooked up, you're going to unclamp the clamps on the tubes. And then we can turn on the machine. The power button is right here on the front panel. You'll notice that there's also a switch to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. We use Celsius, so it's going to be, um, the switch will be down. So, when you turn it on, you're going to see the status as check set point. So, um, depending on what you want your patient's temperature to be, you're going to hit temp set. And um, we want to um, cool the patient. Room air is 25 um, degrees. So I would suggest doing 18 to 20. We'll do 20 now. I will tell you that there are two modes on the cooling blanket. There's manual and there's also auto. We currently are only doing manual control. So once you've set the temp, then you'll hit manual control. You'll see the current temperature of the water, which is 20. And so right now the status of the blanket control is at set point. If for some reason the water in the machine was 21, 22, um, you would see it would say cooling. 
Um, and if it was um, lower than the set point, then you would see that it would say heating. Um, so that's how to use this. Um, just some tips and tricks. Um, you know, most of the patients that you're going to see utilizing the Blanketrol are our TBI patients who have um, elevated ICPs and are febrile. Um, if for some reason they are um, not on a paralytic and they are shivering, um, that can actually defeat the purpose of using the cooling blanket. It can actually warm up the patient. So you want to make sure that you let the docs know. Um, then you also want to make sure assessing the patient's skin. Um, with the blanket being so cold, want to make sure they're not getting any breakdown. And also, especially with looking at like this baby, um, if you notice hands, feet are getting cool, warping, warm, wrapping warm blankets to the hands and the feet. Um, if you have any questions on the cooling blanket, um, you can always ask a member of Equipment and Technology or your charge, rapid, or resource.